Hey, Miss FBI, what's up? I have to cancel dinner tomorrow night. Why? You're sending me back to the States. What for? Top secret. Okay. How about tonight? Szechuan or Cantonese? Hunan. You know a place? Chatham Do. Let's go. Gentlemen, the rumors are true. Not the Vulcan trigger. The trigger's gone. Our agents in Bulgaria transmitted proof an hour ago. Has anybody alerted the president? Ten minutes ago, I personally briefed the president. The facts are clear. One of the warhead detonators is missing from Novograd base, which is located 70 miles west of the Black Sea port city called Verna. Does Soviet intelligence have a lead? The Kremlin is sending out top priority queries about an ex-Bulgarian general named Kovic. Kovic has disappeared. Is Kovic connected with Novograd base? Directly, and worse. We believe he has ties to the international arms black market. Gentlemen, the repercussions of the detonator falling into the wrong hands would mean devastation for the Middle East. The orders are being prepared. Security is of the utmost importance. The fear of a nuclear war could cause world panic. So until we get the trigger back, for God's sakes, no reporters. The White House today continued to downplay rumors that a Soviet warhead detonator is missing. Privately, however, officials expressed grave concerns. The real danger is, a nuclear trigger is quite small, making it easy to smuggle and hard to find. Hey! In the hands of terrorists, it could light the fuse that leads to major global destruction. In Washington, this is Joyce Pride for Seaview News. Is that woman's voice in the clear? It's no problem, it's clean. She wasn't in the shot either. Remember Senator Stern, you damn liar? All right, let's move out. Sure, right, thanks. Senator Sugar, that's what you call them. What is this? Oh, great. Look, I have time to pick my sister up at the airport, so I'm going to see you guys at the next assignment. OK, gotcha. You ran Senator Stern out of office. My father, you hung that name on him, and you ruined him. You lying bitch, I'd love to rip your throat out. <laughs> Don't be a fool.
because he's your father does not mean he's a good man. Quite a show. Wait till you meet my sister. I'll see you later. Okay. I didn't expect you to meet me here. Well, I'm glad I could. I'm in between assignments. Yeah, me too. I just came back from Hong Kong. I was working undercover with Dragon Lee. But yesterday, the FBI ordered me home. Oh, so you must be here because of the trigger. Sharp as always. Here you go. I'll drive. Oh, you want to drive? Ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. Hey, hey, hey! Gentlemen, the bottom line is our investment could be at risk. At this time, we really can't afford bad press. Enough! I scorn the media's lies about me and our bank. You stockholders are all rich. And why? Because I made you rich. I and I alone know what's best for the Bank of Business and Trade International. This so-called scandal is nothing but vicious slander. Now, as for the fools calling for my resignation, forget it. I am chairman of the board for life. Death can retire Jason Slade. You know, Trace, you're welcome to stay. Oh, thanks, but I was going to stay with Dad. But God, this is great. Thanks, come on. My office is right down that hall. And these are all editing suites. I want to show you something. Come on in. This morning, I got a tip hot enough to brand Jason Slade for the world-class crook he really is. <laughs> Slow down. I've been in Hong Kong, remember? Who's Jason Slade? BBTI. The president of the Bank of Business and Trade International. This is the biggest banking scandal in history. Jason Slade? Wasn't he on the cover of GQ? Mm-hmm. Right. Nobody's been able to pin anything on him until moi. Come on, have a seat. I swear before the law... I'll be right back. I, Cyril Bain, certified bank examiner, have been beaten up, harassed, and intimidated by one Jason Slade in order to prevent me from telling the truth about missing funds. However, I have evidence confirming that BBTI has either lost or stolen a sum I calculate to be in excess of one billion dollars. Whoa, one billion dollars lost. Sounds like you and your checkbook. And now you sound like your father. Someday, somehow, you're gonna forgive that man. You know, he's just a workaholic who didn't have much time to spend with his family. He had time for you, Tracy. It's not like he didn't have time for you, Joyce. He just thought that you were better off with Mom. And he really wants to spend time with you now. I don't need him now. Look, you and C4 are my family. I have to go to my next assignment, but maybe we can all have dinner tonight. Great. How about we meet at Sifu's school at 5.30? Okay. 
You know, Joyce, I really am proud of you. Thanks. You know, you chase honor, I chase glory. Mm -hmm. I'm Mercer Poole with the Washington Star. Would you care to comment? No comment. No reporters. Shit! Well, it's nice to see a little zest back in your work for a change. The strong, silent Jake Armstrong, the world's best bodyguard. And what does it say on your business card? It says the truth. You couldn't be safer in the hands of God. I do feel safe around you, Jake. Truly, I do. Do you know why? No, why? You always seem to know just what's on my mind. Like right now. Do you know what I'm thinking? What's that? Where's the damn limo? No comment, Miss Pride. Can he speak for himself? Don't try to provoke me, Miss Pride. I have nothing more to say. Limousine, if you please. I'm on it. Nothing more to say about stealing a billion bucks from your own bank? And what about Cyril Bain, the bank examiner you couldn't buy and didn't fool? Amazing. Suddenly, I can foresee the future. Her camera's gonna accidentally drop and break. Move! Right. Hey, 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 hey. Is that what bodyguards are for, Slade? So you found that amusing? Well, you gotta admit, she was pretty good. You listen to me, you son of a bitch. If you ever let that happen again, you kiss it all goodbye. Sifu. Oh, how are you? I'm great, Sifu. Thank you. I haven't seen you for a while. Well, I've been working a lot. Have you been practicing your Kung Fu? Of course, Sifu. Almost every day. Good. Good. Come, Mickey. Yes, Sifu. You're still my best student. Thank you, Sifu. And your goddaughter, too. Of course. <laughs> so, you have something to tell me, right? Sifu, somehow you always know. Tracy's back. Oh, good. I thought she was still in Hong Kong. No, she came back today. Can you have dinner with us? I'd love to. 
Nikki, you always wanted to practice with your kung fu sister, right? Yeah, Sifu. Joyce. Yes, Sifu. Phone call for you, Sifu. Thank you. So, Mickey, what have you learned? I've learned too much. Too much? Show me. Well, I've learned the tiger, the monkey, and the crane. Which one would you like to try? Anything you want, Mickey. Come on. OK. Look out. Hey, hey. Too slow, Mickey. You sure? Hey, hey. Stop playing around. You can't hit me anyway. Oh, really? Watch. <laughs> Hurt? No. Mickey. You taught him a lesson. Well, Tracy can't make it tonight. Why? You know your sister. Business first, always. I'm sorry, Sifu. Why don't we go anyway? What? You okay, Mickey? No problem. Can't take you out to dinner tomorrow? I'm sorry, Mickey. I'm busy. The day after tomorrow? The day after, the day after tomorrow? Wow, you speak Chinese very well? No, I speak a little Wow, very good. Excuse me, the chopsticks? Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. Joyce, when I talked to Tracy, she told me, you have not given with her about your father. He's Tracy's father, not mine. You're very stubborn. I'm realistic. He is your father. Sifu, you don't understand. When I was living with my mother, he never spent time with me. After she died, he didn't even fight for me. He let you raise me. You're the one that has always been by my side. You're the one who always supported me. You're the one who helped me grow up and be who I am, not him. Nothing you say could change the fact that he is a father. It's different. He's your blood. There's a lot of things he'll give you that I never could. No, Sifu. Since Tracy in town, why don't you spend some time with your father? Just try. Come on in, Williams. Have a seat. Thank you. How long have you been with the company now? Uh, 25 years this Christmas. That's right. I understand you have a beautiful home, raised a nice family, put the kids through the finest schools. Well, I I'd say this company's been pretty good to you, hasn't it? Well, your dad and I go back a long ways. That's true. And Dad tells me that you were quite talented in your day. So what happened? Sir? Williams, I haven't seen you take a bold step in all the years I've been here. You're just like the rest of the old dinosaurs out there. A bunch of scared mice in a maze, afraid to move. But? No more buts, Williams. I want you out of here. I expect your resignation here in the morning. But your father and I opened these doors many years ago. Williams, those doors you helped open, they swing both ways. Don't let them catch you in the ass on your way out. So you crushed them again. Don't you ever lose? Gee. Winning's the easy part, Jake. It's toying with them that I enjoy. I like to draw them to the net and let them think they have a chance. Then I crush them on the baseline. Consider this your resignation. <laughs> Your 
problem, your choice. Do you want to call the police? No. I know who sent these amateurs. I'll take care of them. Let's get out of here. Are you comfortable, Dad? Yeah. How about a drink? Son, there's something I need to talk to you about. Sure, Dad. What's on your mind? Well, I understand that you fired Williams. He worked for me for 25 years. And you didn't need to... Wait a minute, Dad. Let me stop you there. Times have changed. The business world today is a vicious place. It's full of sharks, and Williams is weak. Williams is a solid citizen, and he stood by me. Stood by you? Hell, he went along for the free ride. I run the bank now, and I can't be strapped down by a bunch of incompetent old fools. Dad, you're retired. Take it easy. Take Mom on another cruise. I've got everything under control here. Jason, I built this bank from the ground up with those old fools, and we have never had a scandal to this magnitude. Relax, Dad. You'll see. When this thing blows over, the publicity is going to be great for the bank. Let's have a drink. has been taken care of. You've done a very good job, Hideo. in for a couple of hours. Okay. Okay. All right. I'll see you there. Still looking sharp. Okay, I'm scared. But that won't be necessary today. You're Slade's bodyguard. Why are you here? I caught a lot of flack because of your little exhibition yesterday. But I'm an honorable man. I like to give credit where credit's due. You're a pretty good fighter. Where'd you learn? Wait a minute. You're telling me you found out where I lived. You came all the way over here. You broke into my house to ask me where I study? Sounds a bit flattering, but, uh, yeah. 
You work for a crook and a liar. Don't play me a fool. Look, Miss Pride, or is it Ms. Pride? I don't know where you got your information about my boss, but you're wrong. If he was a crook, I'd be the first one to know. Slade is dirty. I know that because it's my job to know. You protect him because that's your job. I can respect that. But don't come over here and try to... Hey. I didn't come over here to talk about Slade. And maybe I shouldn't have come over here at all. But you have a nice day. I'm out of here. Hey, what's your name? <laughs> so you don't know everything, huh? Name's Armstrong. Jake Armstrong. Keep your eyes open, Jake. calling. Somebody called Silk? Speak. It's Silk, Mr. Slade. Silk, I don't know why it amuses you to pass yourself off as a cheap dime store pimp. But that's your business. You just see to it that none of your bimbos over here is my private business. Hey, it's a great cover. Besides, that's how I get to meet important people like you, Slade. See, I know everybody who's anybody in Washington. And I always got more to sell than just skin. Silk, I'm not interested in the details of your social climbing. What have you got for me? Listen, it was a Bulgarian general who stole the trigger. He smuggled it in a diplomatic pouch to their Washington embassy. It's here. At last. All right, listen up. If you get it for me, I'll pay you five million. But if you fail, I'm going to peel your testicles like grapes. Relax, Mr. Slade. Now, when can you get the trigger? Soon. Very soon. 48 hours, Silk. I'll get the money together by then. That's it? What the hell is this? It's a slow week. It couldn't have been helped. You having trouble with the girls or what? The girls are fine. There just haven't been many customers. Go back and tell them how to treat their customers right. We know how to treat the customers right. Don't talk back to me, bitch. Now get the hell out. Shit. Hi, Arlene. How's tricks? Not so good. Oh, too bad. Hi, babe. How you doing? What do you got for me? Oh, your favorite. Great. Get that, would you? Sure. Hello, Silk Enterprises. How can I help you? Hold on one moment. It's for you. Hello. Right. Yes. Look, you'll have the money, OK? We're ready when you're ready. Don't worry. You know you can trust me. 
Hey, didn't that Panamanian deal go uh, smooth as silk? Well, all right then. Well, silk. Just make sure there are no glitches. Guess who? Must be the enemy. Tracy! I thought you were still in Hong Kong. It's great to see you. And you look wonderful. You too, Dad. How did you get here? Joyce, she picked me up at the airport. Oh, that's nice of you. How's things going between you two? Not too good. Uh, she doesn't return my phone calls. She will. Give her time. Let me make you a nice cup of tea, and you can tell me all about those exciting adventures. Bodyguards? Shit. You look more like the Three Stooges. Beaten up by one mouthy little bitch. And here he is now, girls. Finally. Where the hell have you been? You got a problem? You're damn right I got a problem. Maybe you need to read our contract. You don't pay me or these guys to be your slaves. I pay you to do whatever the hell I want you to do, ass wipe. Now you get these clowns out of my sight. You make me sick. coffee I'm not hungry anymore I'm not even angry at the fact that I missed dinner with Joyce and Sifu even though I haven't seen Sifu for six months ah the glamorous life of an FBI that does have its good points even though this isn't one of them our desert vulture? Yes, it is. The black arm merchant dealer returns to D.C. you in Hong Kong. Well, actually, I came here to take you out to dinner. Yeah, right. Come on, be serious. <laughs> okay. FBI notified Interpol about your Arab friend there, and that is why I'm... Look. Looks like the prince is getting an important phone call. Is that about the trigger? Shh. He's arranging to buy the trigger now. The trigger will be delivered to a ship called the Volga at the Baltimore docks. When? Soon. And? I can't believe how easy it is to transfer $250 million into a Swiss bank account. What? What is it? The Arab mentioned the buyer is Slade. Must be Jason Slade. You mean the BBTI banking scandal guy? Yeah. It's a deal, Slade. That's it. Here comes trouble. Get out. Get out. Get out of the car. What the hell are you doing here?
Good morning, Mr. Slade. Good morning. Here's your schedule for today. First, you have a prayer breakfast with ex-president Reagan. Then don't forget it. No, no, to hell with that old bastard. Look, I'm canceling all of my appointments today. But what will I tell the president? I'm taking the day off. You tell him whatever you have to. Okay. Have a nice day. So, Hank, how's business? Just great, Mr. Slade. No more trouble? Not since you put your name on the door. Good. Thanks for the use of the storeroom. Geez, the place is half yours, Mr. Slade. Sorry. All loaded. All right, Hank. And hey, get this place cleaned up. Sure thing, Mr. Slade. Since when did we become a moving company? What's with the boxes back there? Since when do I pay you to ask questions? Hey, I'm just looking out for your welfare. Well, if you must know, it's just my personal documents. Love letters. Correspondence from my adoring fans. It's nothing, really. Don't worry about it. No worry, Mr. Slade. Eddie, let's move this thing. Right. What's it going to be? Europe, Mexico, the Caribbean? Oh, definitely Europe. All right. You go get the car. I'll wait for you here. Sure. Well, well, well. Mr. Silk, the man with nine lice, or should I say personalities. So tell me, who are you impersonating today? It's always a pleasure being seen by such a... Uh, Special agent. Pride. Not so fast, Silk. Hey! 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 Get it! The last time we did business, you got my cash and I got your business. Hey! Call me, Silky. I figure if anyone in DC has a line on a certain detonator, it's you, babe. You take it easy. I'm just a hustler. Hey! Tracy, let that lowlife go for a second. He's on my leash today. Dad, how'd you know I was here? Dad, I always knew he was here. Once again, you have honored my restaurant with your presence. Stay and have something to eat, Mr. Slade. No, Wong. But thanks for the use of your basement. Not at all. My pleasure. Frankie, Frankie. Yeah. Who's that over there? Oh, you don't know him? That is Jason Slade, the banker. Oh, yeah. OK, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. It's Jason Slade. Joyce, their report on him. He's an evil man. Waiter!
I got here just in time. Give you a little coaching. Maybe help you with your kicks. Yeah, right. I don't mean to sound prejudiced, but um, I don't like taking advice from a blind man. A blind man? Look, I just came by to let you know that I've seen some things that have been opening my eyes. You mean about Slade? Yeah. So what do you know? He's edgy. He's edgy. Yeah. <laughs> so now you're coming over here to tell me about your boss's moods. I told you the man was edgy. What do you want me to say? Well, it makes sense. What do you mean it makes sense? Well, you would be too if you were about to go down for ripping off a billion bucks. That's not what I said. No, but you're starting to see the truth. No, I'm starting to question your truth. There's a difference. Not to me. Tell me what you're doing here, bat boy. Hmm? Tracy! What's going on? I found this kid sneaking around your house. Well, I thought something was wrong. Tracy, this is our little kung fu brother, Mickey. Oh, Mickey, I'm sorry. It's all right. And this is Jake Armstrong. But that's... It's nice to meet you, Jake. You too. <clears throat> oh, and this is Inspector Lee from Hong Kong. Dragon Lee! Hi. Hi, Joyce Pride. Jake, Inspector Lee. Come on in, we'll have a party. Come on, Mickey. Boss, Sue's here. You're late. Yeah, so who's this? Dr. Robert Fellows. Defense Department Specialist. It's private business, Slade. Silk, do you know an atomic trigger from a Bulgarian dildo? Because I don't. The doc's long to make sure we don't buy a Nintendo game by mistake. Yeah, well, all you gotta do is show the money. Easy enough. Yes. Hello. Are right, you guys ready to move? Anytime, Mr. Slade. Good. I want you to drive. Where to, Silk? What about my five mil? Hold on a minute. Damn, Silk. The money's all in the same van. You'll get your cut in the doctor, too. But give me the location, now. OK, OK, OK. Pier 29. Tell them to have their headlights blinking. All right, listen up. I want you to go to Pier 29, blink your headlights. You got it? Got it. We're on our way. All right, move your asses. What are you going to do? Start World War III? This isn't your planet. I have arrived at the top of the world. No man has control of more money. No man can fight me and live. No woman can share my bed and not be mine for life. I am like a god. I piss on you from a great height. You're insane. <laughs> I'm 
Well, maybe. But I will be the man that history remembers. Frank, let's go. I'm coming. What the hell is this? Come on, what are you waiting for? Damn, what kind of joke is this? Limo's ready, Mr. Slade. All right. Let's go. Wait a second. Yeah. What? You grease bag, you double crossed me. No, I, I, I didn't. You got greedy, scared or stupid, and you sold me out. Not me, Mr. Slade. You gotta believe me. It doesn't change anything. There's plenty of money out there, but there's only one trigger, and I'm gonna get it. I never give up. Look, Slade, you, you got a lot of enemies out there. Enemies? Hey. Please, Slade. You gotta give me a chance. Don't do anything crazy. All right, Silk. I'll give you a chance. I hear you're pretty good. I'll let you go. But to get to the door, you gotta go through me. I guess I have no choice. I won't be a party to murder. I order you to shut up! I thought you lived by the rule of the fist too, Armstrong, but you're nothing but a damn cherry. Now get your candy ass the fuck out of here! die like a dog in this
Keep your hands up. That's good. Remember, a good fighter is a smart fighter. Guys, fight smart. That's good. Yo, Coach Rankin. I see you still at it. Jake. Jake Armstrong. I'll be. Am I too late for my workout? Only about 13 years. Good to see you, Coach. How the heck are you? Oh, I'm hanging in there. I've been reading about you. And you've been doing real good. We're proud of you. Yeah, well, you know, I've been away from this place, but it's like I really haven't been away from this place. The smell, the sound. I guess what I'm trying to say is that I missed it. Yeah, we didn't really miss you. We just replaced the bag about every other two weeks when you weren't here. Go ahead. That bag just waiting to talk to you. You sure it's okay? You two need to talk anyway. Thanks, Coach. Guys, pick it up. Jake Armstrong, the one Rankin's always talking about. Yeah, he doesn't look that good to me. Hey, what are you doing around here anyway? I thought you were too good to hang around here. Well, uh, you finished working out? I thought maybe you'd uh, show us a few things. Look, guys, I'm flattered, okay? But uh, I'm really not in the mood. Well, how about a couple rounds right here? Hey, I know Rankin taught y'all better than this. <laughs> Rankin's not here right now, and I gotta know. I should listen to the old man. He knows what he's talking about. Yo, Armstrong. Thanks for the lesson. Coach. I gotta go. Huh? Well, look. I saw you working on that bag. It looks like something's eating at you. Remember, you got two roads to choose from in life. You got the good, and you got the bad. It's up to you to choose the direction. Thanks a lot, sir. Take care, and God bless you. Jay, don't be such a stranger. Come back and see us again real soon. OK, I will. Thanks, Chief. The keys are in the ignition. The money's in the truck. Jason Slade must be really pissed. <laughs> well, we missed him on the BBTI deal. But we nailed his ass to the wall tonight. Well, that's what the CIA's supposed to do, right? 
Let's hope that missing trigger stays missing. We can run this mega sting over and over again. Take some leave, John. Go fishing. Spend some time with the family. just north of Chain Bridge. The body has been identified as a businessman known as Silk. Sources say Silk was under investigation for prostitution and allegedly exposing government secrets. Police say further investigation into Silk's murder will follow. On the banks of the Potomac, this is Joyce Pride for Seaview News. I don't understand why you don't deliver the device to me. Do you still intend to sell? Well, I certainly have no private use for a nuclear detonator. Do you swear to your God that you still possess it? The only thing I need to swear by is the three billion dollars that you're going to pay me on delivery. Just as before when we did business, Mr. Slade, my banker in Zurich are prepared to transfer the money directly into your Swiss account. The amount is extremely high. Why hesitate? Suffice it to say that I have my reasons. You may go now. Don't make me wait too long. Who the hell invited you in? Mr. Slade, listen carefully. I want to make sure you understand what I'm about to say. You can kiss my ass. I'm giving you notice. I don't work for you anymore. What well, just so happens that suits me fine. In fact, I think there's someone here you ought to meet. Here you go. I've already hired your replacement. Meet Hideo Yoshi, all Japan full contact karate champion. If you ever Follow me, Mr. Slate. I rip your heart out. I don't think so. But let me tell you something about your new boss here. He's going down in the flames. And my advice to you, make sure you don't get burnt too. You know what I mean? Y'all have a bad day. Follow him. I want to know where he goes. I want to know who he sees. Hey! You knocked. What's up? You were right. I hate to admit it, but you were right. About? About that son of a bitch slave. Come on in. Have you had lunch? No. Well, I'll tell you something. But I like to eat slave for lunch. So what happened? I quit. That's what happened. And what really gets me is that I don't have anything to prove that he's dirty except for what I've seen. But that's enough, Jake. No, it's not enough. I don't have anything concrete. It's all insubstantial. And if I turn against him publicly with some hearsay, then it's my reputation that's going to get flushed right down the tubes with him. It's not your fault Slate is dirty. No, but I'm the one that has to live with the fact that for the last four years of my life, I've been protecting a criminal. And who's going to believe that I didn't know about it? Joyce, I've got people looking up to me. So when the media comes in and takes Slade down, it's going to be more than just my reputation being destroyed. Not if you speak out first. Now see, why do you always do that? What? Challenge people, push people. Sorry. 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 I learned that from my sequel. He taught me never to stop questioning myself or others. Oh. Kung Fu man, huh? Yeah. He teaches Southern Shaolin. Ten animal styles, 25 weapon styles. What do you mean? Oh, no, that stuff always seemed a little fancy smancy to me. Oh, are you challenging me now? <laughs> Joyce, please. 
about to eat lunch. Okay. Okay, can I bring a friend? All right, all right, I'll see you there. That was my sister. She has some kind of personal business she wants to talk about, so... Uh, hey, don't worry about it. Well, I'd offer you some carryout, but... Uh, I'll tell you what, you just give me a rain check on it. How about that? Okay. All right. Joyce. You remember Jake Armstrong? Yeah, Slade's bodyguard. It's, it's a bad time. I'll come back later. Hey, Mickey, are you okay? You seem sort of... No, I'm fine. See you later. Okay. I'll see you later. I'll be in touch. <laughs> She's late. She's on her way, Dad. She never makes herself available. She's always been that way. She'll be here in any minute. Now, let's just get through this one without a fight. Okay? Okay. She's here. Joyce! Faces. Why are you doing this to me? Just give him a chance. You shouldn't have done this. He asked me to. Come on. Hi, Joyce. It's good to see you. Hello. Hey, excuse me, could we have some water? I'm fine. What would you like to drink? I don't drink. I'll have an iced tea. Joyce? Nothing, thanks. So, here we all are together again. How long has it been? Dad intercepted one of my stakeouts yesterday. Your sister's been on some dangerous missions. So I hear. Excuse me, I have to make a phone call. Joyce. I may have to be at the station. Joyce. Please stay. You haunt me, you know. Whatever godforsaken country I'm in, there you are on the television. I can't tell you how proud of you I am. And how much I regret the way you feel about this. How do you know how I feel? You don't know anything about me. What are you saying? You don't know who I am. You try to play father, and it goes right past me. So it's never really aimed at me. It's aimed at trying to make yourself feel better. Joyce, that's not fair. You don't know the whole story. Look, I don't want this. Joyce, don't be ridiculous. Please, sit down. I'm sorry, I can't.
here. The tape. Twenty Japanese guys just choked me. Why? They wanted my tape. What tape? I, I spied on Jason Slade and I made a videotape. What are you talking about? I did it for you. It's your biggest story. Jason Slade was tricked by the CIA. Come on, Mickey. We got to get you to a hospital. Come on. Wait, wait. But that's not the biggest news. The guy in charge is your father. My father? Yeah, I videotaped everything. But Slade's watching by now. I have to call Tracy. I'm going to call Sifo and get him to come over, okay? Yeah, don't worry about me. Just go, please. Just go. You're a great kid, Mickey. All right, we'll do that dinner tomorrow, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Oh. has him. We gotta go. 
loves you so much. Come on. I hope it's not too late. Let's go. What's going on, Tracy? Slade's kidnapped our father. I know where they are. Let's go. Come on. Money is, or I'm gonna tear your liver out. I don't have it. Bullshit! I want my money. It's in government hands. You have access to funds, Pride, and you're gonna replace what I've lost. I'll write a letter to the president. Your money's gone. You lost it. Pride. I never lose. You lost me, Slade. He just bought you some time, old man. But when they're done, we're gonna barbecue you out back. Find him and kill him. No guns, you idiots. I said kill him, not all of us. This place is full of explosives. Yes, yes, sir. too late. He always taught us that if you take someone's money, you always take care of their problems. You better do what you gotta do. Because today, I'm Slade's problem. Okay. Careful, it's gasoline. Boss, let me take care of him. You kill him. I'll entertain the girls. We do have some unfinished business. Let's go, boy! Dad, 
Not yet. You thought you saw the last of me in Hong Kong, didn't you? This is what gonna happen to your neck. I don't think so. GQ, your hair's still in place. Conspiracy. Take him! You're finished, Slade. You're under arrest. You fool! You idiot! Get in the finish! I never give up! Literally death! Get retired! Jesus, Slade! 
It's all over, Dad. I got to do my report. Joyce, listen to me. The agency's involvement can't, can't be known here. The entire future of this operation is at stake. Joyce, come here. Oh. Okay. Am I okay? Yeah. Okay, guys, come on, right here. Come on. Are you ready? Three, two, one. What you see behind me is the FBI cleaning up a triple cross so total it almost stole the world. Under arrest for conspiracy to possess a nuclear detonator, Jason Slade, the controversial financier. No longer on the scene, the government agency responsible for exposing Slade. This has been a CBU News exclusive report. I'm Joyce Pride. Got it?